Welcome to my creative chronic life. I'm back today with another colour with me and we're using the book from Johanna Basford and it's called Small Victories. And we'll be doing what's on the shelf today. If you've been following Johanna Basford before, you will know that she's had some previous colouring books out and one of them were called Rooms of Wonder and on there you've got these shelves that have got all these lovely items in there and it's one of my favourite pages to colour in. So I thought I'll start off with this page here. So what we have here is like a star wand, some balloons, looks like to me some paint brushes and then one of these spinner things, I cannot remember what they're called but I remember having them as a child where you'd be able to spin them on the floor and they'd always be, always be such bright colours and at the side here, it looks like a circus tent um, so I can just imagine that and we've got a little doily underneath or a piece of cloth to protect where the paintbrushes are now as they're facing upwards and not downwards I don't think there's any water in these so that I think there must just be paintbrushes just drying on the shelf I hope you've been enjoying the colour along with me so far this is the last one where I'll be using the Castle Arts Botanical set and then I'll be showcasing some Stedler ones I've got a few different um, pictures like motifs that I'll be sharing in the next coming days so this will be the last year that I use the botanicals and what I'm thinking about this video is because it's a pretty long video I thought what I'll do is I'll play more music and talk a little bit less as you're aware I've got a problem with my throat as well and I think I've been doing this consecutively for the last few days and I'm just a little bit worried that I'm going to end up losing my voice again so I hope you don't mind that I will pop in here and there if I've got something important to say or remember something but in the meantime I hope you all enjoy watching as always I will pop the colours I use on screen and they are always in the description box in order that I use them but obviously not if I sometimes switch between one colour and then go back and then go back again you know I'm not going to be able to mark down every time I switch over but the basic colours will always be down below and I always try my best to have them numbered or have the names on there and on the screen I might not show the full name I might just show a, the short number part which means I've already shared it so if you look down below in the description box you'll know what the number matches to right that's enough of me rambling now what I'll do is I'll pop you over some music and I'll pop back in shortly
I wanted to pop back on here when I was doing these glass jars. Now, I wanted to give you a little bit of a trick to kind of make the glass look more see-through. So what I like to do is to start off with a grey pencil and I work towards the edges like you can see here and I work in a horizontal way and that kind of adds to the depth in the glass because a glass isn't usually flat, it's usually circular. So what that helps with is the visualisation, I think the word is, of it looking round. So I'll start off with a little bit of grey and then I go back in and I make it a little bit darker and what I'll do is I'll add in a little bit of blue as well. Now not blue because there's water in there, um, just because in general glass isn't technically grey. If you look at glass it's got very various colours in there but usually it looks almost like a very very light blue. So that's what I'm doing here. now. There are different techniques but this is one of the basic techniques that I like to use because it's quick and it's simple and I don't have to take a lot of time or a lot of thought in there. So I go back over where I've already put the grey just very very gently and you can automatically see once you add the blue it pops in the page and it looks 3D. So if you're ever looking on how to make glass look real this is a good technique to have. Hope you've all enjoyed watching and this will be my kind of last long one for a few days which is why I thought it'd be nice just to have some music and to be able to relax in the background now do leave me a comment below letting me know your favorite so far I think this one has to be my favorite so far you can follow me on TikTok Instagram and the threads app at my creative chronic life Please do subscribe to receive notifications of any upcoming videos and I will be posting for the rest of this week. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.